Okay guys, so I'm going to show you here how to install a simple inline pressure gauge inside of your well system or inside of any kind of plumbing system. So let's get started. What I have here is a, this is a one inch PVC T connector. Uh, this is a T, typical T made by Lasco. Um, in case you're ever wondering the size, these things are engraved. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is a one by one by one half inch. And this one half inch up here is actually threaded. And this accepts um, anything that's, um, you know, obviously male ended and threaded to go into the female end of the pipe. What I'm going to actually be installing today is a, this is a, a Winters uh, well pressure gauge, or this is just a simply a, um, a PSI gauge here. Um, this is an oil filled gauge. I recommend definitely getting, if you can, the oil filled um, gauges rather than the just the regular air filled gauges because they corrode less and they read a little bit more accurately. So go ahead and pick yourself up one of these. I think this was about 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, good, it's got a good size dial on it. I think this is a two and a half inch um, dial on the front of it. So nice and easy to read. So basically what this is going to tell me is that anytime my, uh, my well uh, pressurizes, it's going to tell me what the actual pressure is that it's holding in the system, which is very useful to diagnose problems, which I'm actually working on today. So first thing you want to do is uh, basically the end, the end goal here is to get this gauge in here, but obviously that's not going to work. So it's going to, you're going to be pretty hard pressed to find a, a one inch T with a perfect one quarter inch NPT thread on the front of it. So you got to use something to adapt it. So this is a typical um, brass adapter you can pick up at any home improvement store and they were actually out of them at in the uh, plumbing aisle which I thought I was out of luck but I went over to the air compressor aisle and uh, they actually had one for an air compressor it's really the same thing so um, let's get rid of that packaging here and here is the uh, actual fitting with what you're working with so theoretically we thread this into here that goes on there nice and then that goes on there like that so before we can just put all this together and go throw it on the well what we have to do is we have to seal it. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can seal these threads inside of these pipes. One way, which is kind of the hack way, is to just coat it with a bunch of um, uh, PVC cement uh, and then, and then uh, thread it together, but really that's not going to do much over the course of time because as that PVC kind of gets brittle and gets pressurized and gets a little funky, this metal is not going to break down at the same rate as this. It, uh, and you're not, and basically that stuff is really just designed to create a plumbing or a pipe weld, and that's not made for metal to plastic so or PVC. So what you're going to do is over time create leaks. So that's not a good idea. The next thing you can do is use what's called a plumber's a plumber's dope, which is like this um, really it's like a Teflon paste that you could put on the threads and then thread it together. I don't, I don't happen to have any of that today, so what I'm gonna use is what you typically find in the aisles, which is the um, Teflon tape. So, biggest thing about Teflon tape is when you're putting it on and you think about the orientation that this has to turn to go on, you want the Teflon tape wrapped in the opposite direction so that it doesn't unravel the tape as you thread it in, if that makes any sense. So, I'm gonna demonstrate here how to do it right. You wanna roll this on um, basically counterclockwise. So I want to loop the tape this way. So when I tighten it in, it's on the back spin. If that makes any sense. So we're going to first start by getting a good kind of set here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it about three or four times. And once you kind of get it, the trick also is to not drop the tape like I did, but the trick is to kind of get this to roll on nice and flat. So it doesn't kind of buckle up on you. So let me fix this. There we go. That should do it. Let's cut it there. When you cut it, you want to just do a nice pull and then you want to twist it back. So let's get that out of the way. There we go. So that's your threaded end. And this is going to go into here like this. And when you start it off, kind of back it off a little bit. It'll kind of hook and then thread it on nice. This is the kind of stuff you don't want to rush. It looks simple, but you can create a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of headaches when you cross thread something and you have to go back to the plumbing store. So now what we're going to do is do the same thing on this side. We're going to put the Teflon tape. Let me clean up my edge here. This stuff is a little bit weird to work with when you're wearing gloves, but let's go ahead and do the same thing here.
There you go. So that's that side. Clean it up nice. And this is going to thread in here like this. So what you want to do next is actually get this into some sort of a, a vise. There we go. Okay, that's hand tight. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on my vise and tighten that down. Boom. So what we have here is the actual gauge installed into the T. Um, this has been tightened down nice and snug, but not too, not too tight. Um, and this has also been nice and snug, not too tight. And I got this on a, on a um, parallel plane here. So when this is installed in the system, I can angle it toward me, which is really cool. So now let's uh, go over to the well. And let me show you how to put this on. A PVC cement. Um, from my experience, this has been the best that I've come across. It's a primer and cement in one. This is the, uh, the ice blue, rain or shine, typical um, medium blue. PVC cement. You want to make sure you shake it up nice. And then I'm also going with the typical purple primer. This stuff smells like hell when you breathe it in. All you plumbers watching are probably laughing at me, but yeah, this is uh, what we're going to run with. Okay, here's my well system here. I have it, uh, I have my control cover taken off here because I'm actually fixing a well problem, but here we are. Here's the well casing that comes up out of the ground, goes into the well control box, passes over into the pressure switch which is right here, comes in, comes down, and then it runs back into my um, big pressure holding tank here. So what I wanna do is I've already cut out the section of pipe. This is where we're gonna install our T. So let's get the camera situated. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, now I have some room here to move my pipe up and down. First thing you're gonna wanna do here, and I'm gonna try to get this as much as I can on camera. Here's the um, pipe, dope and cement. Uh, the primer and cement. Get your uh, caps, make sure they're mixed up. And if you can, get your caps off and get them in a nice, kind of a flat working area, best you can. Get this other cap off. These are kind of tight. Put those there. And let's go ahead and here's our gauge. So what we want to do, I can go this way, but I'd rather go this way because this way it's out of the way and it's not going to, if I have to get back in here and work, I don't have to worry about hitting it. So let's go ahead and get the pipes primed. So the first thing you want to do, go in here, get a little bit of your primer. You want to kind of go right around like that. And the primer, what it does is it etches the pipe um, to be able to get a good, nice, clean seal for that pipe weld. Okay. And then in here, here's our actual gauge tee that we worked on. Let's go ahead and get that. Just like that. And the neater you are, the better. Like that. Let that set up. For a second and then what we want to do is we're basically doing T's and in, in, in long and then and, and existing pipes is a little bit of a pain in the ass because you have to be able to work it a little bit so this process may not be very pretty but next thing we want to do is apply the blue PVC, blue PVC cement to both the inside of the pipes T and the outside of the existing all the way around and this stuff sets up pretty quick so now the clock's ticking and that's a little bit of a messy all you plumbers out there go easy on me I'm the web guy all right first thing I'm gonna do is slip this on and I'm gonna give it a turn back this way then I'm going to come underneath, I'm going to slip it on that way, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, now what we do is we let that set up, and then we're going to come back and we're going to fix the well. So this basically, 
you get in here. This basically is going to tell me the pressure that my well pressure switch is feeding my actual drum or bladder tank or air tank or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But that's it there. Now this isn't the most pretty plumbing job in the world that I've done, but it gets the job done. Um, when you're doing plumbing, your biggest thing is no leaks. So there's the gauge. And uh, let's go ahead and get the well fixed next. Okay, here we are at the panel. These are the breakers that we shut off. Turn them back on and your well will turn on. Make sure there's no one in the well.